somebody look real silly to folk right now because they swole up and down that you had beef for them or you were coming for them about a man. Look, when I picked up the deck, this said lies. Look, now, I picked it up off the top of this. Okay? They, they didn't got caught up for all these lies they've been telling on you, claiming that you were sweating them or you had beef with them over a karmic masculine. And something has been proven, something has been shown that you ain't pressed in the least bit. So, Holy Spirit, what would you like for the collective to know about this download that I received? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. What are the messages at this time from you through me, Holy Spirit, regarding surrounding this download that I have decided to explore. Holy Spirit, what do you want us to know? Please and thank you about this person who talked all these trash, Holy Spirit, and swore that somebody in the collective was sweating them about a man, but time has told a different story. So what do we need to know? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit, from you through me at this time. Thank y'all so much for all of your likes, your shares, your subscriptions, your memberships, your bookings, your emails. I'm very thankful. I send all of that love and support back to my collective, my organic listeners and supporters tenfold. Holy Spirit, in your name. Let's go. Empress. Let's see, this is who you are. You ain't out here beefing with nobody about no man if you got to beef with a woman about a man then he's not your man and you move on that's what divine feminines do they don't even put themselves in that them type of situations but somebody was trying you a dime piece shout out to jay dilla and Dwelle. that's what's on right now i'm telling you that just came on you a dime piece you ain't got to be out here going back and forth with nobody about a masculine okay but this person swore that you was beefing with them over some karmic partner that you used to look tower in reverse they swore that you were trying to cause some sort of eventual tower in their life that you were trying to cause some sort of eventual destruction that you was coming for them Okay, that's what they was telling people. Either they're a Scorpio or the masculine that you used to deal with is a Scorpio. Seven of Wands, I'm telling you. They said you had beef that way good with them. This Queen of Swords. I hear telling people you beefing with her over this Scorpio in reverse. Who is facing some challenges himself. It ain't got nothing to do with you. But this queen of swords was peeping you, not the other way around. I feel like this queen of swords wanted to have a problem with you, not the other way around. And that has been illuminated. King of swords. That's been illuminated somehow. And it's either through the actions of this masculine who is now some sort of opposition to this queen of swords, or you may have a king of swords, sun energy, who's brought happiness into your life. Okay, we finna clarify this. You may have Leo somewhere or Libra prominently in your chart. You could have Scorpio in your chart as well. Clarify this sun, king of swords, energy, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Moon. This is this Scorpio in reverse. This is who that is because this Queen of Swords thought that she was in the sun with this King of Swords, but she didn't really know what was going on behind the scenes in his mind, in his heart, and his spirit regarding you. Okay? I feel like deep down this man wanted to have a victory with you. Look at this now. Can you see it? He wanted to give to and receive from you. He was trying to figure out what he needed to do 
to possibly even free himself from whatever connection he had with this queen of swords and sneak on over there to you, okay? But he can't half-ass no shit with you. He has to fully invest in you. And this man had been moderating his life in such a way that he was not ready to do that because he was still tied to karmic people, places, and things, okay? So see, that's what's really going on. He was making an inevitable change, or at least hoping to, and he wanted to include you in it. He wanted to triumph over something that he was battling in his life, but he ain't willing to let go of what's keeping him stagnant. What's keeping him from having a victory? He's still in this energy where he want to give to and receive from folks that don't mean him no good. But something has happened. And him and this queen of swords are opposition to each other now. And that's also how people know that you wasn't the problem. Okay? The fool, six of swords, seven of swords. That he may have separated from her because of some dishonest, deceptive things that she was doing that he became aware of in this sword energy, okay? So if he has freed himself from a connection with her, it's because of her own doing. It ain't got nothing to do with you. And you definitely ain't beefing with her about this man. And I do see where he was trying to figure out how to get to you as well. You got Taurus, you got Taurus, Libra, and Leo somewhere prominently in your chart. He got Capricorn, Virgo. He could be like a Libra Scorpio cusp. Okay. But see, he ain't wanna leave Babylon alone. I'm telling you now. This his energy. He didn't want to leave Babylon alone. He he want to come and see what you was talking about, but he know he ain't ready for that. Okay? He's still trying to find himself. He's still trying to figure it out. You already there coming out here as this Empress first card out. And I feel like the universe has put someone in place with this Wheel of Fortune as well. Page of Cups, Emperor, I can't make it up. Four of Wands. Ten of Cups, okay? Somebody somebody has already been put in place to replace any type of connection you could have had with this King of Swords, King of Cups here, who I do feel still has some feelings for you. He could have Pisces or Cancer somewhere prominently in his chart as well. But again, he just know it ain't gonna happen. He knows that he's not in alignment in a way that's going to give be able to give you what you deserve but this emperor is and you know he is just given how the stars fate has been realigned look i'm looking at this angel with this book in their in their lap it's like they're looking at the book of life and they're looking at how things have transpired as opposed to what could have happened because of this king of cups king of swords actions because see he given that he was supposed to be a divine counterpart of you of yours excuse me but he forfeited that he did okay that's why his ass out here in reverse this king of cups so this angel this could be one of your archangels one of your ancestors right here they tried to see how they could rearrange things for you so that you could receive what you deserve since this man didn't want to give it to you and they got permission to change your fate. Now, that's what I'm getting. Y'all see that up there? Like, they decided to look into your Akashic records and see how things could be adjusted so that you could receive the partnership, the friendship, the relationship, the life that you deserved, okay? Because people really is out here living the lives that they want to live, y'all. 
okay? Everybody not fucked up. Everybody not going through shit. You know, shit happens, but people are generally at an even kill because they out here living right and doing what they're supposed to do. And that's because the stars see the stars. Woo! You star see energy. The stars see how Queen of Wands finna fall right up under the Hermit. In the Hermit card, there is a star. And then the four sources behind that. They see how you have taken the time to free yourself of anything that does not serve you. To, to do the work on yourself. Even if it means that you have to stand alone with this Queen of Wands energy. You were resili resilient. Excuse me. You even pushed past this Queen of Swords accusations. You were in the Four of Cups. You don't know how this woman been out here telling people that you was sweating her and beefing with her and all this kind of shit. You do not know that. You were in your own bubble, reflecting, restoring yourself, healing, recovering, possibly from some shit you went through with this King of Cups, King of, of Swords. Because you was in the Queen of Wands too when you were dealing with this man. It was a battle. It was a it was a fight. But when you laid that partnership to rest, you evolved into this nine of pentacles and you've been getting better with time. Page of pentacles. Figuring out what you need to do. Sometimes things may not work out the way that you want them to, but you keep pushing and you keep persevering and it's paid off. PPP. <laughs> Okay, this is Scorpio, Capricorn energy, Virgo. He could be a Virgo. He could be a Pisces. A, he could be a Pisces sun sign or Scorpio. He could be a Capricorn or a Virgo. That's the energy that's popping out for him, okay, for whatever reason. But he might have got a PPP loan the way that had just came out, and then the Nine of Cups is right here. Thinking that he had made his wishes come true. That might be why he in the reverse. Because now he in the nine of wands. Mm. Over some money. Over some sort of opportunity that he. <clears throat> thought he was going to pull something off with. But it's going to cause a loss for him. And. Something may have been seized financially, and he, he in regret. I don't know who this is that I've been picking up on. This motherfucker got Scorpio in their chart, though. I don't know who this is. I, I can't tell if they a Scorpio sun sign, or again, if that Scorpio energy that's popping out is because this is a season where people who didn't want to get in alignment are being forced to put shit down. They are being forced to face the music. They're being forced to release what does not serve them. Death Tower is hitting hard in their own lives. And if they have that aspect specifically, distinctly placed in certain places, it's something. I'm going to research that because I keep picking up on that. That's what's happening, though. That's why we keep picking up on this Scorpio energy. But, you know, that may be very well what he's facing right now. This man got judgment. I'm telling you. I'm telling you now what I just picked up on. And, you know, it. that's uh, yet another reason why people know you ain't sitting up nowhere sweating this man. Because he got this type of crap going on. Nine of swords. This how she looking now. Foolish. Fool now, crying because he don't want to deal with her no more. He got these big boy problems. The alphabet boys probably messing with him. Chariot, I'm trying to tell you. So, you know, Divine Feminine got a new man at home. Child, I'm trying to tell you now who's making plans. For you, if you don't know, now you do. Hierophant, two of wands. Y'all been having my ass rhyming, Holy Spirit. I don't know. 
I don't know what's been happening. It hit me every so often. I be rhyming. Don't you be meaning to. These damn entendres and metaphors and shit. Shit just be, I don't know what be, be from that writing. But, you know, back to the reading. You got a new divine counterpart now. That's this Emperor Four of Wands, Ten of Cups, Page of Cups. He didn't pop back out. Remember me. That's what he's saying now. King of Wands, Knight of Wands, Hierophant with the Two of Wands. That's his energy for you. A lot of passion. He's a very independent individual as well. Very goal-oriented, career-driven. He may work for an organization, but this man also has his own business. You know, he get it a number of ways and he's planning some sort of future for you and him. You've already met this man. Y'all may not be coupled up, but y'all been dating. Y'all have been getting to know each other and he wants to have a future with you, okay? It's out here. He want to go to distance. Chariot is up under the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Cups is up under the Six of Wands. Okay. So, mm -mm. you know, it just don't even make no sense at this point for her to even keep trying to say nothing about you. Because people can see that her loss and pain and sorrow is a direct descent descends directly from what she was doing with this man because I'm picking up on it. I'm picking up on it now. He he cut her off because he pissed about something that he didn't got in trouble with that she was involved in and he feel like she ain't do something right. Coming out here is this queen of swords, page of swords. He feel like she... She didn't do something right. Knight of Swords. She took some sort of action in their fraud attempt that got him fucked up. But she claimed to have knowledge and foresight of how something was going to go with whatever this money is that I'm picking up on that he didn't fraudulently obtain. This was in the past. This is this this shit. It could have been a few years ago. Three years ago. And now he's scrambling trying to figure out how he going to take care of this issue. This financial issue. That she said, it, I'm telling you. He trying to figure out how he going to give back probably a ten of pentacles. Death. This is that energy where, you know, people don't want to do right so the universe forces them to take certain actions to end karmic cycles and transform because they would have kept sowing those same destitute seeds that wasn't getting them nothing but the trouble that they in now and you ain't got nothing to do with nothing these people got going on Okay, and people know that too. Clarify Holy Spirit. Like people looking at her, seven of cups. Like you trying to build this facade around this empress's name. Like she's sweating you over this man who dealing with all of this misfortune and loss. Then it looks like you helped him create for himself and your. This woman ain't worried about you. This woman got real options in life. A king of pentacles, possibly. I'm telling you, whoever this emperor, king of wands, hierophant, king of pentacles is, that's who you partner with. That's who you pressed about. If you pressed about anybody, <laughs> I'm telling you, if you pressed about anyone, that's who you pressed about. You damn sure ain't pressed about this king of cups, king of swords, okay? For the record... Because what did I say? Didn't I say that man was dealing with them alphabet boys? Ooh. Holy Spirit. What else do we need to know, please? And thank you. Final oracle messages surrounding this download that I received. Please and thank you. Ciao.
Anything else you need to know here, please? And thank you, Holy Spirit. Final messages. Mm -mm. Child, that's rough right there, child. That's rough right there. That's why I said people was worrying about and focusing on the wrong shit. So pressed to upset somebody else's life and not even looking at what could possibly happen as a result of what they were doing in their own life. What else, Holy Spirit? Final messages, please and thank you. God blocked, blocked it. Know that. Because all this slander and defamation and character type vibe, which that's very hard to prove, you literally have to prove that somebody said something to another person that caused a distinct, specific loss for you or setback in your life. And that's very hard to prove at times. But God know who be out here the most. I know who be out here defaming y'all character. And he be blocking that shit. What else, Holy Spirit? I just saw candle work too, but I'm not going to pull it. That's also what he may have been blocking. Don't accept bum behavior. Because see, you wasn't trying to partner with this man. Okay? You, you weren't going to accept his bum behavior. And you wasn't going to be fighting with no other woman for him. Devil. For no karmic energy. For no toxic. He even came out here as the devil twice. Now, I hope somebody see that. That That's the type of energy she claimed you was out here fighting her for. And some people do be doing that. But look, she was throwing rocks, hiding her hand, and crying wolf. Because I'm telling you, this woman was out here doing shit against you not the other way around but this game over for that and like i said you ain't worried about nothing you probably don't even know okay what this person was saying about you or doing against you you let go and let god with this situation this masculine a long time ago and anything associated with him you got back to basics you start to focus on yourself and your healing once you departed from your connection with him. And it's obvious to people that your soul is one of a kind. Like she don't even got no audience anymore. Okay? That's what I've noticed. The people who she was telling these things to about you. Ain't nobody trying to hear that no more. Clarify Holy Spirit. And then we're going to get back to the Oracle deck. Five of Wands, this community, I cut the deck on their ass. If anything, they talking shit back to her. Like, girl, what is you talking about? What were you talking about? Really, girl? Like, that's why she and the Nine of Swords, too. And I'm telling you, she's been implicated in whatever this King of Swords, King of Cups got going on. So it's like, it's really like looking to folks like you were, they, it's, it's like I'm hearing people say you was just, this person could be an Aquarius, okay? But it's like people are saying to her or have said to her, we see how you were pressed about him. She, we don't see where she was pressed about him like you claimed she was and, and messing around with you somehow as a result. Clarify, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Two of Cups, Moon, Eight of Wands. People know that if anything, this woman was doing all kind of stuff behind the scenes to be able to move forward in this partnership with this masculine. And that if anything else, you have moved forward in a partnership with this King of Wands Emperor energy. Okay? If anybody is pressed, it's them. Because this um water sign is pressed about you too. Mm. <clears throat> Look, 
Music Soul Child just said on this song with Slum Village, me without your love is a ooh side. I ain't going to say the full word because they be trying to get your girl. Okay? I can't help with the cussing. I've been working on it, y'all. But that other stuff, I be trying to catch it. I be trying to catch it now. But, um, yeah, that's how this water sign feel, child. And look what had came out, child. That's why I had said, mm, like that. That's how he feel. Back to the um Oracle deck, because I ain't even finna keep fucking with that tarot with what I'm picking up on. We're going to just see anything else, Holy Spirit, anything else. That 5D connection can get out of control if you let it. Okay, so I don't know what all these people is doing. But it's then backfired. Because I did see candle work. This Queen of Swords, man, look, because see, you got angels, like that angel on that Wheel of Fortune card I seen. Who are watching everything play out in relation to how it was supposed to play out in your book of life. And they have brought in the other man to replace this fallen soulmate. The, possibly a twin flame. That card ain't out here. The lovers ain't out here. But the energy is out here. That he was some sort of soulmate. And I'm not picking up that he was a soulmate that was supposed to teach you a lesson and then you move on. That he was only supposed to be in your life for a season. I'm picking up this is somebody who dropped the ball. Who did not boss up for you the way that they should have. And you let go and you let God okay and god then brought in the other man and what this queen of swords wanted for you in particular because i'm telling you it's really giving damn near everything she said you was doing to her she was doing to you behind the scenes and that's why things are playing out in her life the way that they are it's giving divine order okay because she wanted to say you was this man's concubine of some kind. But it's really looking like she was his concubine. Because she didn't put her, I almost said, slutted herself out. Possibly, possibly for this man in multiple ways to have options in life. And it's giving soul sucker energy. If you got to do all of that to be with somebody and have somebody and please them then that ain't, that ain't for you, okay? We have water, lake, legumes, rune energy in reverse. These people is doing magic now. In addition to some sort of fraud, financial theft, and she mad because he love you. She out here doing magic and shit to please and be with this man, but he love you though. Anything else? Harvest. I'm telling you, she was doing magic for them to get money, to possibly come at you spiritually. Okay? Because this tower reverse seven of wands ain't between you and her for nothing. Because you weren't doing it to her like she claimed you was. So who was it getting done to? Who was doing it then? And they stand backfired. All this magic she was doing. Because you are a healer. You have a healing spirit. Whether you practice healing for people or not. You are a healer. That's evident. And you're not going to be subjected to her or any of her minions. Because these hoes never work alone, y'all. Just know that. You will not be subjected to any type of cloudiness they tried to place over your life. It's then went back to her and anybody that was assisting her. Anything else? You are at peace. Om Shanti energy. Cloudy days don't always mean rain, baby. And you at peace. You at the top of the wheel with your emperor. So where they at? 
But if it doesn't apply, y'all, please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.